Hemsworth, Senator Romero, of course, Senator Alquist. Sergeants, if you can please call the Senate offices. All senators, please report to the Senate floors. All of our committees have dispensed with their business and we're ready to resume this afternoon's business. Senator Kehoe. Committee, if you would please go to room 3191 immediately. Members of the Transportation Committee is meeting. Senator Lowenthal, how many bills? One bill. One bill, 3191.
going to begin without reference to file bill items that are eligible to be heard at this time. These include AB 1011 by Assemblymember Jones. Do we have a floor manager for AB 1011 without reference to file? What about AB 1542 by the Health Committee? We do have Senator Alquist. Secretary, please read AB 1542 without reference to file. Assembly Bill 1542 by Assemblymember Jones and accolade to medical homes and declaring their service to take effect immediately. Thank you, Madam President and members. Currently, there is no standardization members to the definition of a medical home. And since there is a growing concept of medical home, and by that I mean where we get patient-centered care instead of provider care-centered, uh, a medical home isn't a new facility that the state would license, rather it's a model for delivering coordinated care. This bill defines a medical home as a health care delivery model in which a patient receives comprehensive and coordinated primary and preven preventative care. Uh, the bill is sponsored by the California Academy of Family Physicians and supported by a, a wide variety of professionals. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. This is an urgency measure. Honested? Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Calderon? Aye. Cedillo? Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Denham? No. Desaunier? DeCheney? Dutton? No. no. Emerson? Flores? Aye. Hancock? Harmon? Hollingsworth? No. Huff? Kehoe? Leno? Lou? Lowenthal? Negrete McLeod? Aye. Oropesa? Padilla? Pavley? Price? Romero? Aye. Aye. Runner? Semidian? Steinberg? Strickland? Walters? No. No. Wiggins? Wolk? Wright? Wyland? Ye. Call the absentees. Duchenne, aye. Honestead, no. Ashburn? Blakesley? Cedillo? Correa, Tissonnier, Emerson, Hancock, Harmon, Huff, Kehoe, Leno, Lou, Lonthal, Orpesa, Padilla, I, Pavley, Price, Runner, Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins, Wolk, Wright, Wyland, ye. Eyes eight, no six on the urgency. Eyes eight, no six on the measure. Senator Alquist moves a call. Senator Flores, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you. Take up file item 121. File item 21. File item 121. File item 121. File item 121. Secretary, please read. This is Assembly. on Assembly third reading file. Assembly Bill 2393 by Assembly <laughs> Member Amiano and acting to private post secondary education. Thank you, members. Uh, this bill ensures that prospective students receive an accurate accounting of the number of former graduates who gained employment in the actual jobs in which they were trained. This bill will require that apprenticeship and nursing programs, graduates counted in placement rates, must be employed in a position or job which duties that meet the requirements established by the Division of Labor Standards and the Board of Registered Nursing. This bill will establish minimum requirements for job placements in nursing and apprenticeship programs it's supported by the Consumer Federation of, of California, the California Nurses Association, the Faculty Association, and the State Building and Construction Trades Council of California would ask for an I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honested? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? No. Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Denham? No. 
DeSaunier? DeCheney? I. Dutton? No. Emerson? Flores? I. Hancock? I. Harmon? Hollingsworth? No. no. Huff? Kehoe? Leno? I. Lou? I. Lowenthal? Negrete McLeod? I. Orpesa? Padilla? I. Pavley? Price? Romero? I. I. Runner? Smidian? Steinberg? Strickland? No. no. Walters? No. Wiggins? Wolk? Wright? Wyland? No. Ye. Call the absentees. Call the wrong no. No. Ashburn? Cedillo? Correa? Desaunier? Emerson? Harmon? Huff? Kehoe? Lowenthal? Oropesa? Pavley? Price? Runner? Smidian? Steinberg? Wiggins? Wolk? Wright? Ye. Ayes 10, noes 10. Senator Flores moves a call. Members returning to the without reference to file, file. Uh, we also have AB 1987 by Assemblymember Ma. It's eligible to be taken up. Do we have a floor manager? AB 1987. AB 1998 uh, by Madam, Madam Chair. Senator Liu. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1987 by Assemblymember Ma, an act relating to public retirement systems. Thank you, Madam Chair. Members, AB 18, uh, 1987 uh, will protect taxpayers by preventing many egregious types of pension abuse like spiking and double dipping. Under AB 1987, employees will no longer be able to cash out years of vacation time, annual leave, personal leave, or sick leave to spike their pensions. Employees will also no longer be able to include golden handshakes in their pensions. Retirement systems for the first time will, be, will have oversight power to deny pension spiking. AB 1987 also prohibits double Excuse dipping. Excuse me. Senator Liu, I'm going to ask that we put this item over temporarily. Uh, we, let's come back to this in a moment. We would like to have more members on the floor for this discussion. Senator Padilla, your SB 1237 is eligible without reference to file. Secretary, please read SB 1237. Senate Bill 1237 by Senator Padilla, an act to public health. Thank you, uh, Madam President. Members, uh, SB 1237 is back for concurrence on assembly amendments. As uh, many of you may recall, I was uh, moved to introduce this bill after several reports last fall of cases of uh, radiation overdosage at uh, Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles. And uh, through our homework, we realized that there are minimal uh, procedures and protocols in place to track the radiation dosage levels administered to patients, uh, whether it's an emergency situation, such as a stroke, or in a, a therapeutic situation, such as somebody undergoing uh, therapy for uh, a form of cancer. We've worked with a variety of stakeholders from the medical association to the hospital association, equipment manufacturers, uh, consumer groups, and others uh, to bring forth this bill. Uh, specifically, the bill would require that everyone who uses a CT scan machine record the dose of radiation uh, produced in that particular treatment. Second, that the dose radiation produced shall be recorded electronically uh, and not only in the patient record, but as part of a radiology report. Uh, third, that each CT scan machine be verified annually to make sure that it's properly calibrated and that the dosages being administered are indeed the dosage levels that are being intended to be administered. Uh, and fourth, that incidents of misadministration or over-radiation, if you will, uh, be reported to the State Department of Public Health in addition to the patient, in addition to the patient's treating physician. Uh, there's an additional, additional section of the bill that would require that all facilities that furnish CT services be accredited to federal standards as of July 1st, uh, 2013. 
the point of the bill is to better uh, inform patients, but also to give physicians the tools necessary to ensure that their patients are being exposed to only the appropriate, not excessive, but the appropriate levels of radiation uh, as called for. Uh, the Senate approved this bill in this form overwhelmingly with more than 70 votes. It's a bipartisan measure. Uh, this measure was approved by Health Committee earlier today on a bipartisan vote as well. I ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Senator Onestad, did you have your mic? Okay, no. Seeing no discussion or debate, Secretary, call the roll. Onestad? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Aye. Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Denham? No. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Duchenne? Dutton? No. Emerson? Flores? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Herman? No, Hollingsworth? No, Huff? Kehoe? Aye, Leno? Aye, Lou? Aye, Lowenthal? Aye, Negrete McCloud? Aye, Oropesa? Padilla? Aye. Aye, Pavley? Aye. Price? Aye, Romero? Aye. Aye, Runner? No, Semidian? Steinberg? Strickland? Aye. Aye, Walters? No, Wiggins? Wolk? I right. Wyland. No ye. Call the absentees. Ashburn. Calderon. Cedillo. Correa. Duchenne. Emerson. Huff. Huff no. Oropesa. Smidian. Smidian I. Steinberg. Wiggins. Wright. Ye. Calderon I. Correa I. Duchenne I. Eyes 21, nose 10. The amendments are concurred in. Members, the Transportation Committee has concluded its business. All members were asking to return to the Senate floor. Senate Bill 550, Senator Flores, are you prepared to take up this item at this time? Without reference to file, it is eligible to be taken up. Secretary, please read. SB 550. Senate Bill 550 by Senator Flores and Act to Natural Resources. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Let me say uh, this bill has to do with oil drilling on agricultural land. Uh, it's taken quite a journey. It is now amended in a form that says that notification shall be the standard between agriculturalists and oil producers. There's no opposition to this bill at this point in time. I believe it's uh, a candidate for unanimous consent, but would ask for an I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero. The amendments are concurred in. Senator Padilla, for what purpose do you rise? I uh, request to submit a letter to the file on SB 1237. Letter to the journal? Yes. Been approved by both sides? I believe so. Okay, absolutely. Please bring the letter forward. AB 1011 by Assemblymember Jones. Is there a floor manager? Okay. Members, Senator Lowenthal, AB 1011, without reference to file, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1011 by Assemblymember Jones, an act to ensure investment. Thank you, Madam President and members. Climate change will have a detrimental effect on some of California's largest industries, including the insurance industry. It will also increase the the strain on energy and natural resources necessary to rebuild and restore property after losses. AB 1011 expands investment opportunities for insurance companies in projects that directly benefit the natural environment, that enhance clean energy sources, and promote green technology in California. Senators, there is no opposition to AB 1011. I ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Onestead, no. Alquist, aye. Ashburn, Blakesley, no. Calderon, Cedillo, Cogdell, no. Corbett, aye. Correa, Denham, 
No, Desaunier. Aye, Duchenne. Dutton. No, Emerson. Flores. Aye, Hancock. Harmon. No, Hollingsworth. No, Huff. No, Kehoe. Aye, Leno. Aye, Lou. Lowenthal. Aye, Negrete McLeod. No. Oropesa. Padilla. Pavley. I Price. I Romero. I Runner. No. Semidian. I Steinberg. Strickland. No. Walters. No. Wiggins. Wolk. I Wright. Wyland. No. Ye. Ye I. I. Emerson. No. Eyes 13. Cray, aye. Ashburn, no. Ashburn, no. Eyes 14, nose 15. Senator Lowenthal moves a call. Senator Alquist, Senator Alquist, are you prepared to take up file item 115? 115? Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 2084 by Assemblymember Brownlee and acting to child daycare facilities. Thank you, Madam President and members. Uh, AB 2084 establishes minimal standards for licensed child care providers, including serving low or non-fat milk, thank you, to children two and over and serving only 100% juice and providing access to water. The bill standards are minimal and based on recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics which recommends this. The only thing they didn't recommend was the water. I think Assembly Member Brownlee put in access to water, which was very reasonable. Uh, I think this is a really a good bill, and given that we're fighting uh, our children developing obesity, I think it's important that uh, for children two and over that it's limited to low or non-fat milk, which the Academy recommends and that the one serving a, a day be of 100% juice instead of something with a lot of sugar in it, and sugar in it. Ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestad. Alquist. Aye. <laughs> Ashburn. Blakesley. No. Calderon. Aye. Cedillo. Cogdell. No. Corbett. Aye. Correa. Aye. Denham. Desaunier, I. Duchenne, Dutton, no. Emerson, Flores, I. Hancock, I. Harmon, Hollingsworth, no. Huff, no. Kehoe, I. Leno, I. Lou, I. Lowenthal, I. Negrete McLeod, I. Oropesa, Padilla, I. Pavley, I. Price, I. Romero, I. I. Runner, no, Semidian, Steinberg, Strickland, no, Walters, no, Wiggins, Wolk, I, Wright, I, Wyland, no, Ye, Ye, I, Harmon, no, okay. Call Demon, the absentees. No. Honestad, no, Ashburn, Cedillo, DeCheney, no, Emerson, or Pesa. Smidian, Smidian I, Steinberg, Wiggins. Eyes 20, nose 13, Senator Alquist moves a call. Members, there is going to be, a, oh, let's wait for a moment. Senator Flores, for what purpose do you seek recognition? I'm sorry. Sorry, Madam uh, President. There is, uh, I just would like to submit a letter to the Senate Journal for the purpose of clarifying the intent of SB 550, which I just presented earlier. I believe it's been approved by both sides. Okay, please bring the letter to the desk. Members, there is going to be a Democratic caucus in a few minutes. There will be a Democratic caucus in a few minutes, but before we go into caucus, is there any other member at this time who is ready to take up an item either on unfinished business or on Assembly Bill's third reading file? One moment. Okay. 
Senator Honestad. Madam President, members, there's a resolution at the desk requesting permission to suspend the joint rules. These requests have been approved by the Rules Committee. I urge your adoption of the resolution uh, to hear AB 2059. Secretary, please read the resolution and call the roll. Resolved that Joint Rule 61B16 be dispensed with as requested. Call the roll. Honestad? Aye. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? Aye. Corbett? Correa? Denham? Desaunier? DeCheney? I Dutton, I Emerson, I Flores, I Hancock, I Harmon, I Hollingsworth, Huff, Kehoe, I Leno, I Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negretta McLeod, I Oropesa Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, I Romero, I Runner, I Smidian. I Steinberg, Aye. I Strickland, Aye. I Walters, I Wiggins, Wolk, I Wright, Aye. I Wyland, Ye, Ye I Cal Calderon, I Correa, I Aye. Aye. call the absentees, Corbett, I Ashburn, I Blakesley, I Cedillo, Denham, Hollingsworth. I, Huff, Orpeza, Wiggins, Wyland. Wyland, I. Ayes 33, no zero. The resolution is adopted. Is there any member who has an item to take up? Senator Wyland. Uh, Madam President, would this be an appropriate time to uh, take up an assembly wharf uh, bill? If it is eligible, what is the item? The item is AB 2036 by Assemblyman Barry Hill. AB 2036 by Assemblymember Berryhill. Let me get an answer from the desk. We do not yet have the bill at the desk. All right. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Onestaff, for what purpose do you rise? Same thing. I have a wharf, AB 1431. 1431, AB 1431. Let me check with the desk. That bill uh, we do not yet have at the desk. Okay. Members, Senator Steinberg. Senator Steinberg, are we prepared now for a Democratic caucus? <clears throat> yes, we are, Madam President. Uh, we'll call a Democratic caucus in the Maddie Lounge, please. Democratic caucus in the Maddie Lounge. Republican Senator Hollingsworth? A Republican caucus in the Cox Room. Republican caucus in the Cox Clubhouse. 